Hi everybody, my name is Rhys Barber, I'm one of the audiologists here at Audiology Associates. And my name is Taylor Green and I'm the other audiologist here. Uh, so this is a patient of mine uh, that came through having some, some issues with the hearing, mm -hmm. uh, a standard. Yeah. <laughs> um, now, I've got the standard size ulnar tube on here. Now, my first glance when I looked at this, uh, I thought this was actually a plug of keratin or dead skin, yeah. which we pretty much have got a really very, very dry piece of dead skin here. I think this patient does, uh, if I can remember, I think this patient has issues with eczema anyway. Right, okay. For now, I've left that little bit of dry skin there because it's still attached to the ear canal and it's solid and it's not going anywhere at the moment. So mm. we're going we're gonna to attack this deeper, much, much deeper section here. Very, very slowly. It almost I, looks like there's a lot of irritation to the canal wall as well, isn't it? Look at this suction tube. Now, as I'm slightly moving this little piece here, it's just releasing moisture that's that's held behind this. Oh. Now, it wasn't actually going anywhere. I um, I was moving it slightly, but I couldn't get a suction grip, which I thought, hmm, that's, that's different. That's, that's not right. Yeah. And you'll see why in a second. So... We go back in, try and get a suction grip again. Is that changing colour? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so the patient's been using some oil, but again, all that humidity, look at that, that sort of... The condensation yeah, running up the outside kind of, of that tube. Yeah. So you can see it starting to go white slightly. Uh, yeah. Right. And we said in the last video, cotton buds. Yes. Cotton buds. Naughty, naughty people. Naughty, naughty. naughty. Um, so yeah, this is more than likely not going to go anywhere at all with suction. Sometimes we're lucky. Uh, this looks like it's been there a long old while though. So this has just been sitting there absorbing been, water yeah. and oil and everything else. Yep. Right, okay. Yep. And you can you can just slightly see a portion of the eardrum above the cotton bud, but the patient's only recently been having issues with the hearing. Mm. Um, so this is a very tricky one. I mean, this here, the, the forceps are tiny and, you know, you can see how much space we've actually got to work with here, which is next to nothing. <laughs> it's yeah. very, very... So I'm, I've, I've had to hold the camera much further away from this to, just to accommodate the space. So I'm going very, very, very slowly, just looking for a slight movement. Mm. And a gentle, gentle, very, very slow pull yeah, where here. Yeah, this is. Slight wiggle. It's like a scene from the Meg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When they're in the tube and they're just yeah, that's, yeah, 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 that thing, yeah. Oh, there we go. We've got really lucky here. It didn't pull away any of those fibers, so we have managed to get actually a really good grip here. Look at the size on it. I mean, I know cotton buds are only you know one one particular size anyway, but look at look at that. Yeah, that's the entire end of a cotton bud. That is. You can see where the, the bottom there was. Oh, look how look how <coughs> irritated that is down there, sitting there. Just yeah, and you can see the ear canal kind of yeah. There's some deep recesses well. there as well. I'm stuck in my throat. Then sorry guys, <coughs> I'm okay. You right? Do you want me yeah, to tap your back for you? I'm choking on air. <laughs> I'm choking on oxygen. Uh, I oh, see. I, oh, it's uh, gone. Oh, that was yes. eight centimeters, <coughs> three and a half foot. Tears in my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's about half a centimetre. <laughs> a couple of jobs. Three, can't see straight. Just over a quarter of an inch. Um, so this is my patient again now. Now this, you can, oh, right, okay. Uh, this is actually an irrigation patient or a combination patient. That's rhymes, combination patient. Um, so this is, um, first year canal here, we've got this very, very thick, dark, plug of wax. Now this wasn't actually the ear the patient was having any difficulties with. A uh, patient being on holiday, uh, the other ear canal had blocked up and uh, this, I'll show you the other ear canal in a bit now, but this had this huge plug in it. So I said, look, let's just try and get this out first. I did say to the patient that we're probably gonna have to use a combination, uh, your micro suction on this ear and a bit of irrigation on the other ear. The patient was perfectly happy to have that done. Um, oh, you got a bit of everything. I got a bit of everything, everything. yeah. Now this was, was a, it is a tough plug, this one. It didn't look like it was gonna be a hard one to do, but it is a tough old plug it's quite long it's quite sticky it's not quite hard enough that the curatage tools can get behind it and pull it forwards but it's a little bit too adhered to the canal wall for the suction tube to pull it out ah nightmare and the, yeah and it's the, the well the same box hook that you could see was actually uh, there wasn't much space in the no in the there's not and they're always really tricky you can't yeah. kind of 
if the ear canal is normally quite wide with yeah. the with the same bark tuck, it's perfect for slightly harder pieces of wax where there's like little gaps above. Yeah. And we just turn the same bark tuck on the side, get into that gap, and then turn it behind the plug. Yeah, which won't happen anyway. If the if there was like when we talk about this this wax being the, the correct consistency, being like the Goldilocks zone, this would be the opposite of that. So this would be what the like the evil Goldilocks, anti Goldilocks zone. The yeah. opposite, you know, that, 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 port, that consistency of wax where no tool <laughs> is going to get this out. <laughs> it's really evil stuff. Uh, but it's just... I can see where you for that little gap though. There is a little gap there. I'm trying all the time, but the difficulty is as soon as I pull him, there is a little gap there. I'm trying to get behind him. But what's happened here is it's almost two pieces. Oh yeah, I can see what you mean. Do you see it's all overlapped? It. So as you try and pull down, what you're doing is uh, imagine the... the two, can't do this. The two pieces are like that, and then you put the, the same bar tucker, you just pull it through that way, and it's just sort of, uh, pulling through the gap. So we switched up to a little bit of irrigation. Let's see if we can soften this up, create, change the consistency a little bit of this wax. Now you're not gonna see a tremendous amount, I will warn you, coming out in this first part. Basically what we're doing is just softening uh, this wax up. But this is actually in real time. So this is exactly how long we spent in the patient's ear canal uh, irrigating. So I think we're in there for, oh, probably less, I reckon it's about a minute, I think, altogether. But you can see, just to point out a couple of things here, you can see we've got the little pot underneath, which is just catching all the water and debris that comes out of the ear canal. The irrigation tool itself is in the ear canal. Now, it doesn't go in straight. It's got a little hook, a bit like the St. Bart's hook, uh, and you angle that to the roof of the canal, wiggle it back and forth. Uh, when Connor did our training with us, he said like a windscreen wiper motion. And what that does, it creates a vortex in the water, so it tends to draw a lot more of the wax down. Um, but yeah, we're just irrigating the way. We're always looking at this point, um, clarity of the water, I would say, making yeah. sure it's, you know, it's nice and clear, uh, that it's not causing any issues. But you can see it's broken that wax down, it's changed the consistency. And this is where I said that you know, uh, these two different methods can complement each other really, really effectively. Yeah. You, know, you can really change that consistency of wax. It makes it so much easier to get in there. You do end up with a little bit more humidity in the ear canal yeah. just because they, obviously there's moisture in there. But you can see with this one, we're just, it's brought that plug forwards a little bit more. And where we could see that very dark, a uh, thick layer. Look at the color change in this wax, where it's just broken that surface layer down, which is just going to help us to get better suction grip on here. It's so golden syrup again. It is, yeah, yeah. It's got it's got that slightly different color. Yeah. I'm going to go in. I'm going to try the same bar tuck again, but I think it's moved forwards too much now to get it, get the effective uh, pull on this. I've got a little bit out there. A little bit came away. You'll see. We do see the plug coming out at the end, guys. Uh, just a, just a. Uh, um, we you. I, could, I, I can't speak. <laughs> so it's awesome. I will be there. I cannot talk. Uh, I talk, but I'm just talking mostly nonsense. I'm not talking anything else. Uh, guys, if you do enjoy these videos, you can always like, share, heart, follow, and subscribe for us. That'd be fantastic. Taylor Green, what can they do if they have any problems? Well, Click on, the cup on our bio. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Click on our bio. Our website's in there. Um, yeah, give us a give us a call. Numbers on there. Our clinic addresses are on the website as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, give us a call and get yourself booked in with me or the uh, the amazing. Oh my gosh. Mr. Reece Barber. I'm gonna have to dig my thesaurus out because I'm running out of running out of. Uh, I uh, then, I know. It's a difficult one. So it's coming away nicely now. It's starting to really really loosen up in here. Still going in different tools trying to get this out. Trying to find the best tool really to get in here. Oh, so it was a pain when they look really easy to do, and then you start. And then, yeah. Oh, really? oh, yeah. <laughs> now, see, I, I was I was looking at this all the way through, thinking, oh, if I put a Jobson horn in there, it's just going to push it further back all the time. Um, but this is the nice thing, right? About and and I, I uh, yeah, some I can't talk again. Some audiologists don't like the you know. Uh, you guys will comment and say, ah, oh, why didn't you use this tool? Why didn't you use that tool? Sometimes this is the nice thing about ooh, look at that about. Um, viewing your own videos back. And there are sometimes you look at it and think, ah, oh, do you know what? I haven't looked at that back now. I think perhaps I would have been better off using this tool or using that tool. I think you know, in the moment, I thought I didn't have enough of a gap there to get the Jobson horn over. But looking at it now, I would probably say, yeah, I probably could have got that Jobson horn in there and it probably yeah. would have worked maybe a little bit more effectively. But that's the benefit of going over your own work. And my, obviously me and Taylor do this all the time because we look at each other's videos, uh, which, which I personally find really helpful because yeah. there are certain things that you would do that maybe I wouldn't. Yeah. 
I wouldn't have thought, oh yeah, I'll approach it that way. Uh, and we actually do shadowing days in clinic as well. So I'll follow Taylor around for a day. Well, not literally following around for a day. That's but, my but, shadow. Just, yeah, <laughs> just stood behind you. But, uh, but there's, I follow you around and, and we do... Uh, we, we, do look at, <laughs> we do it. We do it. <laughs> Ooh, that's good. Just sit on your shoulder. But it's, uh, yeah, we do that all the time just so we can look at each other's work as well and see how, almost like sort of peer reviewing each other, um, yeah. in, but live in clinic, which is which I find personally, I find really, really helpful. Um, it's really yeah, yeah I, it's I, handy, I, isn't it? Yeah, really, really handy. Yeah. Yeah, Taylor has to say that because it, it's outside. Of the <laughs> <laughs> but you can see it's coming away really well. I forgot what tool this was now. I think this is the Jobs and Horn. Yeah. yeah, so you can see it's starting to really cleave off uh, the front portion of this wax. But don't forget, this is the year the patient really, really wasn't having much difficulty with. Make sure you stay tuned for the irrigation on the second year. It is worth it. There is some lovely big pieces of wax that come out in our water. But watch this. Look at this coming away. Oh, it's going to pop out now. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that. And that plug just really, really wasn't going anywhere. Uh, it was really wedged in there, but patient not having any difficulty with that hearing. But look at that now. How much shinier and healthier that was. There was looks. a bit of everything in that There was quite a bit in there. Yeah, exactly. it was all bound together. Now you can look at this ear canal. Now this is a case in point where I say microsuction, you could get this out of microsuction, but it would take forever and you'd be having to get really close to the eardrum. Keep an eye on this now. Watch this. I do try to zoom in in bits. When the colour of the water changes, which you can see here, but look at these pieces coming away. Cool. That's all skin, wax coming away there. You know, and that was in a few seconds of using irrigation. You'll see the colour change. Look at the colour change of the water again. But look at this. Look at the size of those plugs. Look at that. Mm. The size of those plugs coming out there. They are real, real chunky plugs. Then you get these little looser bits as well. Um, you know, and another piece of skin there coming away over the top. Look at the size of that piece of skin as well coming away. And this was all covering the eardrum really, really deep in the canal. Another big old piece there. It's surprising how quick, we, we said this um, since yeah. starting the irrigation. I mean, it's, it's surprising how quick it is. Yeah, yeah. When <laughs> you, I mean, you'll see now, we'll still, I think there are some, you know, there's some more bits just coming away. I tend to sort of irrigate until I, the water's completely clear. I haven't had any bits, count to about 5, 10, and then stop and then take it out. But that was, the irrigation in real time. I think we go in and just do one more little bit now just to make sure, because there was a piece of skin stuck to the outer part of the ear canal there. So I'm just going to irrigate just for a little bit longer, just to make sure everything's out. But you can see how those bigger, chunky pieces... Now, if you were trying to... There you are, there's more coming away now, look. Oh, there you are, you can see the bits floating around in the bowl of the ear there where it's flushed a little bit more out, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, more oh, coming again. <laughs> yep, so we're still, you know, you can see these bigger, chunkier pieces. Now, to microsuction that out, personally, I would have said that was probably going to take about five, ten minutes. You would have been they to looked, clear that ear canal. They very, very wet and almost yeah. like kind of sticky in a way. So, yeah, yeah. They, they're a bit Glad of a pain. Oh, yeah. Still going. You know, and this doesn't hurt the patient. You know, it's not uncomfortable for the patient. What you hear is a bit of a, a thumping <laughs> sound because it doesn't go into a steady stream it sort of it, it pulses yeah. a little bit like that um so you do hear a bit of a thumping sound a patient will feel a, like a bumping i would describe it sensation in the canal me and you both had it done not we I, I thought it was quite relaxing to be fair yeah it was, yeah, <laughs> it was a lot quite, of people quite, do say it's quite, quite relaxing nice, quite nice actually it's like a, do you imagine like a little bath for your ear <laughs> yeah yeah that's the way to look yeah. at it i suppose um so yeah we've got i think we've got most of that out now so you can see that was the case of just literally a couple of minutes uh two minutes max and you could see within the first sort of 20 seconds, you started getting really, really big old plugs out there. I think that's it. No, I don't think there's any more coming out. There we go. And you look at the ear canal afterwards, look at the difference there compared to what this was matted, thick, sticky wax everywhere. That ear canal was completely clear. Now, in that case, there was a little bit of pinkness at the base of the canal. Yeah. I think that's just because of the temperature of the water. You just brought the blood vessels up. But I would always advise that patient and use a little bit of ear calm afterwards just to, yeah. just prophylactically, just to make sure it doesn't trigger off infection or anything like that. One inch. Um, <laughs> just under three centimeters. <laughs> yeah. and just, I got really confused. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, here we are. We got it in the end. Ah. Well, guys, thank you so much for our, uh, watching our video today. If you do enjoy the videos, if you, especially if you enjoy the irrigation part of it, let me know. We will carry on producing those types of videos for you as well. Uh, but as always, guys, take care of yourselves. Take care of your ears. And take care of one another and myself and the amazing Mr. Taylor Green. We'll see you again real soon. Bye, everyone. Bye.